Hey, what's up everyone out there? I am Maya and you are watching Throwback Thursdays with me, aka the Ghetto Superstar. <laughs> A lot of things in the video just didn't make sense being in high school, which I think made it extra funny. I just knew exactly what kind of character I wanted to play and in the scenario of breaking up and being cheerleading, cheerleader, yeah. Well, there is two different versions of Moving On. There was one without him on the album and then that was the remix. So we chose him as the rapper of the time, and not too many female R&B artists were collaborating with Southern music. Well, Cisco actually came up with the dragon theme. That was his whole thing at the time with Drew Hill. We were a part of a production company that was based in Washington, D.C. called University Music Entertainment. And we all worked together on the songwriting. So I had all of Drew Hill in the studio, mostly in Atlanta and sometimes in Baltimore, where they're from. And we would all work. Yeah, 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 yeah. I went ahead and sketched the outfit like I did my prom dress in high school. And someone actually made it. And that was the video. <laughs> that was incredible. You know, I met Wyclef and Praz in the studio. These are the Fujis to me at the time. Wow, I'm in the studio with these guys, you know? I came in with my dad one day and recorded the hook and left. That's it. The next thing you know, I'm sitting next to Howard Berry. What's going on? You know, I'm just coming off of two little videos that I made that are completely tacky as hell. I'm paranoid at the things I say, wondering what's the penalty from day to day. ODB is actually the person behind my presence. That was sort of his decision or influence behind uh, my presence on Ghetto Superstar. The video for this one, I think it came out in the summertime, which was perfect seasonally, the colors, which was very simple and memorable. June Ambrose, that was her idea, to include the jersey dress, which became the craze at the time, so she's a mastermind, as you know now. That was a demo vocal. That was like a practice vocal that they kept. So I was mad at the producers for a while, but I guess it worked. <laughs> that was really, really fun because I got to be a, more of an entertainer, actress. And it wasn't really coming from a personal place because I don't really feel that way about myself, but it was convincing. <laughs> Initially, when I recorded it, I just really wasn't feeling it. I'm like, that's a lot to say. My ass is like, whoa. My sex is like, whoa, really? But then later on in life, I lived up to that. <laughs> it was great. I hadn't worked with females, you know. I had always been collaborating with these rappers or engineers and producers, there was nothing but guys around me. And this was really refreshing. It was fun to be around a bunch of ladies and make something happen together. That was successful. Mm -hmm. 